Okay, hi guys. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new, hi, I'm Liz. Um, I am a mama of a three-year-old. You guys, he just turned three yesterday. Um, when you're seeing this, he turned three on May 31st, which was Tuesday. And uh, it's really hard to believe, but I'm loving every minute of it. So, um, but today's video is going to be about um, a three month post op from bariatric surgery. If you don't know, uh, March 8th, 2022, I got bariatric surgery. I got, I got the gastric sleeve surgery and it was probably the best decision. No, it is. It was the best decision I ever made. Um, so what I want to tell you guys what my heaviest weight was. So Heaviest weight was 322 pounds. My starting weight before I started the program was 311 pounds. And my current weight as of today is 246 pounds, which is incredible. Um, I wanted to tell you guys kind of how I'm feeling, what my day looks like, or what my days have been looking like. Um, so I've lost 70 almost 76 pounds um and I always kind of I always ask like do you guys do it from your heaviest weight your starting weight like when when people ask you about your weight loss what do you tell them everybody in the bariatric community said their heaviest weight so I'm going with 322 pounds so I tell them I'm like about 76 pounds down and then if they ask me like for from surgery like day of surgery what does that look like and I kind of just break it down from there but for the most part, I just tell them um, I've lost pretty much a, I don't know, fourth grader. Um, and I've, I honestly have never felt better. And I know I still have a long way to go. My goal is to be below, well, my goal is to be 190 pounds. Um, but I just want to be below 200. That's my goal. Um, I'm 5'11 and I'm 34 years old. So just so you guys kind of know um, a little bit of my stats, uh, I'm feeling good. I actually have had a lot of NSVs and NSVs are non-scale victories. So that means doing things like, uh, you know, being able to cross my legs. Like that's something that is not that I can put on the scale. That's not a number. That is something that this weight loss has made it that I can do that. Um, and I do want to share with you guys too, I share this over on my Instagram, but over the weekend, this past weekend, I went to Walmart to, uh, we were gonna go get stuff and I was like, I just wanna look at clothes, let's see what it is. I had this mentality of, I'm not gonna get clothes until I reach like 100 pounds because it's, it's silly, or at least until like, go to like somewhere else where I don't pay a lot of money. Um, so I was like, let's just, let's just check out Walmart. Who knows what I'll find. I don't even know what size I am. Um, I did start at, uh, a 3X and I was still wearing a 3X be right before surgery. Um, and when I was at my heaviest weight, it was, it was getting probably where I probably could have gone up to a 4X. So I picked out some clothes, not even knowing. I was like, well, I'll try a 20. I'll try an 18, who knows, right? And every time that I've gone into a fitting room, I have come out defeated and discouraged. This time was different. And I can't even explain to you guys the way that it made me feel. I picked a bunch of clothes. I got a pair of capris, a pair of pants, a pair of um, shorts. <laughs> And if you guys know me that I don't ever wear shorts, I don't like the way my legs looked. I didn't like the way it felt. I was uncomfortable. So I never wore shorts. I always wore capris. Um, and I got two shirts, actually one of these shirts that I'm wearing now, um, one in a larger size and one, this one I got in a smaller size. I got this in like, um, a one X I think. And I got like a green shirt in a two X. Um, and then I also got two tank tops. So I actually didn't even try on the tank tops because I was like, I, they're they're like three dollars I think they were, and I was like, I'll just take them back if I need to, or I'll keep them because maybe I'll fit into them soon. So I go into the dressing room, 
I start trying things on and honestly, like I was shocked. I felt it's, it, I, I put the jeans on and I could put them up and I felt good. I felt, I'll insert some footage um, for you guys to see because I actually did tape some of it because I wanted to, I wanted to be able to remember that moment um, of all the hard work that I've put in for the past three months, how good it felt to fit into something, uh, and feel good about the way I looked. And I honestly haven't probably felt that way in a very long time. Obviously, like when you, when you put clothes on, you're like, okay, like this fits. It's not going to show my belly. It's not going to show whatever. But this, I felt, it felt different. It felt I felt confident, I felt pretty, and I haven't felt like that in a very long time. Um, I guess I didn't realize how how much I avoided mirrors, how much I avoided clothes shopping because of that. I would buy clothes on like Amazon because I was like, I'm not gonna try them on because I don't want to feel defeated and yucky. Um, so like this step was huge for me. And I walked out purchasing everything that I tried on. I purchased the shorts, I purchased the capris and the pants and the two shirts and it felt really good. I felt like I felt like before I was I was I kept wearing all my clothes, so I was kind of hiding a little bit. So this now like the clothes that I'm wearing that I bought, I I feel like I can show like it, you can really tell that I've lost weight. And I'm seeing it now. I don't necessarily just see the fat girl that I always saw because when you lose weight, your mind has a hard time catching up with what your body's doing. So when you lose that 50 pounds, that 60 pounds, that 100 pounds, like your body is is changing, but your mind's still in that mindset of, no, I, I still see that fat girl. I still see that big girl that I always have. And that's really hard to change your mindset. But that day, I my mind changed. So anyways, I did walk out crying that day, but it was a good cry. Uh, and I told my husband all about it. I showed him the photos and the video that I took, uh, but I'll insert that here. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so I can't find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel. Okay, so I will tell you guys, uh, because of this past weekend, we celebrated my son's third birthday. We celebrated it on Sunday. And with Memorial Day and everything, like I was I was tracking, but probably not tracking everything I could. And I I definitely noticed that I felt a little bit like not lethargic, but I felt like, okay, so into bad habits again, like getting into those habits that Obviously, I've steered away for the past three months, um, even longer because I did six months before I had my surgery. So like technically, it's been like nine months since I've been in the program. And I have worked really hard to change my behaviors and my relationship with food. But sometimes it, that creeps back up, that those cravings creep in, those when you're starting to like your body's recognizing, okay, I'm hungry. And you're like, oh, this won't hurt. Or that's just one bite. Like that stuff adds up. And I have to remember that to track everything so I can hold myself accountable. So I got a little off track this past weekend, but I'm back on track today um, and feeling better. So a couple non-scale victories. Um, Obviously, when I tried in those clothes, feeling those clothes, today when I went to my nephew's soccer game, um, we parked pretty far away from the field and my I had I forgot the backpack. So I had to go all the way back to the car to go with the backpack. And 
10 months ago, there's no way I would have gone back. I would have been like, sorry, Jack, I can't get you a snack right now. Like we'll get one after the game. It's in the car. But I got up, I said, I'm gonna go get it. I went to the car and you guys, I wasn't out of breath. I wasn't out of breath. I wasn't sweating. And those were things that were hard for me. Those were difficult times where I didn't want to get up. Um, and I feel more energized to do those things. It's easier to get up. It's easier to, to do things. I don't think about it as much as I used to, like dreading doing that, going to that, going to the car and doing that. Like that was something I wouldn't have done. So I'm really proud of myself for, for doing that. Uh, my mom even mentioned the other day, she's like, wow, you're like getting up more for things than you used to. So that also made me feel really good. But I feel like there's so many things that I could tell you guys about the non-scale victories. Obviously the scale moving feels really good. Um, but sometimes when there's that stall, it's, it feels like I'm not doing anything. And I think that's tons, I tend to like go backwards a little bit. And I have to keep reminding myself, like, this is a process. I have to trust the process, keep working for what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so I'm still working on that. Uh, I had a um, post-op appointment with my one of my surgeons two or three weeks ago. Um, and she kind of just told me, she's like, you're doing really, really well. Your scars are healing up really great. Um, she said, but I want to make sure that you're integrating like some some weight training because obviously like when you lose weight fast you're gonna have a lot of saggy skin which I do um and that's a whole nother thing that I'll talk to talk about a little bit later um but you know toning up those muscles so getting a schedule to go to the gym has been something that I also am working on and I I don't know why I have this fear of just doing it I don't know if it's because I don't feel confident in front of all those mirrors or what but I told my husband I was like we need to go together and I want you to show me some weight training exercises so that I can tone some of my body um because my arms uh my arms have always been one of my biggest insecurities and they've always been you know like they say those bingo arms where they flap uh like I I'll show you guys like that's what I have um my arms like there's a lot of loose skin and that's something that I need to work on. So it's always been something that I've wanted to work on, but it's even more so now with the weight loss. Um, same thing with my legs. I have saggy skin um, in between my legs that I'm, I need to tone and work on. Um, so yeah. So also, I don't know. I always think like, what do people do after surgery? Do they think about like skin removal or is it something that is like no like I'm just gonna do what I have to do or some people don't even need it like they they lose the weight and they're fine like they're fine with their body they're comfortable with their body and they don't necessarily want to do another procedure but for me I think for me to feel good in my own skin um having having that skin removal surgery is definitely something I am considering uh, I just have to see what it's covered under my insurance and, and all of that. But it is definitely something that's on my list, but that won't be until after I have um, lost the weight. Uh, my goal weight is, like I told you guys before, I think it's like 120 pounds is what I want to lose. So I still have a ways to go, but I feel like I'm that much closer to 100 pounds. And I think that's going to be so incredible when I, when I see that number because a hundred pounds is, is a person, you guys, like that's huge. What else can I tell you guys? I think that that's, that's it. That's what I have. I guess if you guys want to know like about my day, I can do a day in the life. Um, I did one a month or two ago. I think it was a month ago, uh, two months post-op, I think it was, uh, of what I eat in a day. So if you guys want to see something about like uh, a day in the life of a bariatric patient, let me know. I can, I can vlog that. Um, but leave it in the comments so that I know if you guys are interested in something like that. I think that would be kind of cool to see. Obviously every day is different, but for the most part, it's kind of the same. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will have another update next month and 
uh, will be able to see a huge difference. I hope, I know it's going to slow, my weight's going to slow down, but, um, it's really cool to see and document these, these huge moments that are happening because my story is super important to me, this story that I'm living in and I'm, I'm loving sharing it with you guys and bringing you along because I know there's so many people out in, in the world that are bariatric um, patients and it gets lonely sometimes. So just know that I'm here and I'm going through it too. And please reach out if you need any support or questions or you need to vent about something or even if you're having a bad day because we all have bad days. Um, like I said, this past weekend was, was not great for me, um, eating wise, but that just means I am aware of it and I'm going to change it and we move on. Right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye.